I'm here to talk to you about a serious threat to our democracy and our safety. It's coming from a disgusting comic book company called Paranoid American. I'll be honest with you. I fell for their lies. I read one of their comics and ended up convinced the moon landing was fake, the Illuminati was real, and that an ancient bloodline of elites had been ruling for centuries. I even asked Hillary about adrenochrome and woke up missing a kidney. But I know better now. And I want to make sure you do too. The worst part is, they're good at it. The art is great, the stories are thrilling, and before you know it, you're waist deep in wild conspiracies about MK Ultra and Moloch worship. But these are American traditions, and we're not going to let some comic publisher with the name Paranoid American expose or make fun of these traditions. That's why today we're taking action. The government is cracking down on accounts like Paranoid American with the help of social media companies. We're working to stop the spread of these dangerous ideas and to protect our people from the harm they can cause. But we need your help too. We need to educate ourselves and our fellow citizens on what's acceptable art and what's not. We need to stand up to those who seek to undermine our democracy and our safety with their extremist artwork. We need to reject anything and everything that tries to divide us and to promote fear and anxiety. I don't care if it's art or free speech or whatever other excuse they want to give. Paranoid American on Instagram is actively harming us all. They've published a children's book about chemtrails on Amazon. And next, I hear they're planning to use AI-generated artwork to make us all look foolish. Well, we're not going to stand for it. So let's take this threat seriously. Let's work together to stop Paranoid American on Instagram and at ParanoidAmerican.com. Let's fight for the most comforting truth and facts, and let's keep America anxiety-free. Lord knows, I can't lose another kidney to the Clintons. Thank you, and may God have mercy on us all.